Next, we are going to talk about natural language processing capabilities which are available in Azure. Azure AI Language Service provides pre-trained and customizable deep learning models to analyze text. These models use tokens to embeddings to turn words into numerical representations. Deep learning models perform calculations on these numerical representations to provide responses written in natural language. Text analysis encompasses many capabilities, including identifying the predominant language of the text, identifying the sentiment of the text, whether it is positive or negative, with the proper confidence score, finding the key phrases which are used inside those texts, or maybe identifying the proper entities or locations so that you can find out which object is associated with that. This slide is showing you a sentence which is like, I had a wonderful vacation in France which is showing you that this is a positive sentiment, it is in English and then the key phrases are wonderful vacation while the entities is actually France. Same way you can use the language service to define a knowledge base of a question and answer pair. You can create a knowledge base by entering questions and answers or you can import an existing FAQ frequently asked question list into that. You can also argument your questions and answers with built-in chit-chat sources that include common conversational exchanges. After creating the knowledge base, you train a model based on the questions and answers data and you have to publish it again as a service. Once you publish it, client applications in a particular boards can then consume the knowledge base and use it to determine appropriate response to user input. Azure Bot Service provides a platform for creating, deploying and managing bots. With Azure Bot Service, developers can use Microsoft Bot Framework SDK to develop bots and easily deploy and manage them in Azure Cloud. By using the Azure Bot Service, you can easily integrate your bot and the language service for language understanding or question answering and connect your bot to multiple channels such as web chat, email, Microsoft Teams or maybe others. I strongly recommend you to go through this URL which is giving you a demo of using a question answering model solution with Language Studio. This is already available on Microsoft Learn course so you can just go through this exercise and try to explore this demo by yourself. Meanwhile, let's understand how the conversational language model is working. The language service enables you to train a language model that can interpret natural language commands. The language model consists of three primary components. First one is known as utterances. Utterances are phrases that are used by users. It's something like whatever user is going to say or type. For example, here we have switch the light on. Now this is an utterance which is going to be maybe entered in the chatbot by a user. Then we have to find out an entities associated with that. Entities are specific items that are referenced in an utterances. For example, in this particular statement, light is an entity. And then maybe we are going to say switch the fan on, then fan will be entity. After this, you have to find the intent associated with this utterance. An intent identifies the desired action for that particular utterance. For example, to switch something on is the intent here, which is used for the light kind of an entity. Now let's focus on speech recognition and synthesis and how it works. The speech service provides speech to text API that you can use to implement text recognition functionalities. The service supports text transcription in more than 60 languages. Conversely, the text-to-speech API can synthesize audible speech to text with the option to specify regional appropriate voices for human-like pronunciation. This is going to help you to convert your text into a speech and then you can use it as an audio. Before wasting more time, in theory, let's try to see these demos in our language studio. This is my language studio and then at the right side of this we have a speech studio. You can notice the URL of this and you can try this thing, if possible, at the end of this particular module. If I go to my language studio, we have some samples available here. I can use any of the samples. Let's say there is a summarization information available here. 
is giving me a paragraph and then is giving me a summarization configuration here. Now when we do the summarization, we have types of summarization given here. We have extractive summarization, which produces a summary by extracting a salient sentences within a document. It's going to use the exact same sentence from the document. Or we can have an abstractive summarization, which generates a summary with a novel sentence for a document. Let's say I want to try both so that I can see the differences. And I'm going to say, run. This lengthy conversational document, which is available here, is showing me an extractive summary where maybe exactly 100% match of a particular sentence is available here. While the abstractive summary is showing me the actual meaning, which is like a moral of the story kind of thing, which came up from that. You can compare both of them and you can use whichever you want in your application. Same way, I can go back to my language studio and I can try something like translating the text. Maybe I want to do a custom translation or a document translation kind of thing. Let's try the document translation. But if I try to do this thing, you can see that I have to sign in with Azure. There are chances certain demos will be not available directly. In that case, you have to go and sign up for the $200 Azure credit free account. Or if you want to try all the labs of AI 900, you can connect with us and as a partner of Scalable, which is a lab provider for AI 900, we can share the labs with you on a chargeable basis. This information is already shared in a couple of videos, so I'm not repeating those things. Let's try Speech Studio. So now this is my Speech Studio. And in this Speech Studio, we have a couple of demos which are available for speech to text. Now let's say in this demos, we have one real time speech to text kind of a demo. Let's try this. It's showing me that I can try this out in a particular choice of language, which I can choose from here. I have to upload a particular file. Once I browse the file, and if I try to upload that audio, based on that, it's going to give me the test result here. Because this is something which is speech to text, I have to upload a file. Or I can just record an audio with a microphone. Now let me try this one. Let me click on the microphone icon. The limit is only one minute. Let's try this. Hello, mic tasting one, two, three. We are just trying to check the speech to text. And this is right now getting recorded by Maruti Makwana on AI 900 course. You can see I tried this recording and it is showing me the same result here. I can replay this and I can just check whether each and every word is exactly detected or not. Thank you. Now it's the time for a knowledge check of this module. Please try to answer these questions based on the learning which you have done. And exactly after this, we are going to see which is the right answer. So pause this video and try to answer. Okay, now let's see the correct answers. So these are the correct answers. I hope you got it correct this time. Otherwise, better luck next time.